Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a CWA remote broadcast of the Florida Division Regional Tournament, hosted by the University of Central Florida. Our next game right now features the University of Central Florida A team versus the University of Florida A team. In the dark caps will be the University of Florida's A team, and in the white caps will be University of Florida's A team. So dark is UCF, and white is the UF Gators. This is game nine of the Florida Division Regional Tournament. The B teams played previous to this, and the final score was 14 to 10, the Gators' advantage. As we start the game here, the University of Central Florida Knights will take over on possession. They feed it into the hole. The shot is taken away now and blocked by the University of Florida, and they take over on possession. The goalie looks to outlet. Try to feed it into the hole. University of Florida shoots and scores in the bottom left corner. Number 12 with his first goal of the game. UCF now in possession. foul. UCF gets the ball back and they take a shot off the ordinary foul and it's saved by the Florida goaltender. He's looking to get an outlet here. He kicks it out. Ordinary foul by the, by the UCF defender. Florida takes a shot, and it goes wide. Out of bounds is now UCF possession. UCF has the ball inside. A backhand shot goes wide of the goal. And Florida takes over possession, looking to kick the ball out and start the counterattack. Nice dry pass there. Skip pass. Kicks it over to the weak side. Exclusion foul on UCF. Advantage Florida. They are now on the man up. The ball goes in the corner and out of bounds. UCF will take over. They get their player back, and now it is even. Side of the hole. Swarmed by three, three Florida defenders and gets the ordinary foul call. UCF takes a shot and it's saved by Florida. Long outlet pass down the pool. Looks to take the corner one, take the edge. Another ordinary foul call. They feed the ball inside of the hole and a backhand shot goes wide. UCF takes over. As the shade settles in on the pool. Florida goaltender comes out of the net with a nice defensive play there and intercepts the ball, causing the turnover. They outlet it down the pool, the Gators. Shot by Florida, and it's a goal, number four, with a nice shot from the outside. 
gives them a two to nothing advantage. Call there. UCF stays in possession. Nice shot by UCF, but saved by Florida. Keeps their 2 0 lead intact. They outlet it. Another ordinary foul gives them a free throw. They kick it all the way down into the corner on the weak side. Move the ball forward. And UCF with a nice defensive play, causing the turnover. Nice long outlet pass by the goalie. Shot and then saved by Florida. Looks like it was off the goalie's hands there, but they're saying it went off the post, so it's the University of Florida's possession. As the goalie looks to outlet. Looks to kick it inside. And UCF gets the turnover. They kick it down in the ball. The, off the pass, it was tipped. Two shots there on the net, and they both go wide. Keeps the score at two to nothing for Florida, and they take over with the ball going out of bounds. Another shot goes wide by Florida. UCF takes over in possession. Shot wide by UCF. Ball goes out of bounds. Florida has possession now. Florida with the long outlet pass. Shot saved by UP. UCF. Florida Gators football team is now starting the second half, up 31 to nothing on Kentucky. 12:25 left to go in the third quarter. We have a minute left to go in our game here. Florida's leading UCF two to nothing. The Florida Gators being in the white caps and the UCF Knights being in the dark caps. UCF with the pass back to the goalie. The goalie will look to outlet. To start the counterattack. Feeds it all the way down. Gators kick it back to the goalie. The goalie will now look to outlet for the Gators. to the UCF defender. It's 2 on nothing. 2 on 0 going down on the breakaway. He passes, shoots, and scores. No goal there. Clock ran out. Time expired. And that's 2 Nothing advantage for the Florida A team over the UCF A team here at the end of the first quarter. Backpack. The hype is too. You can 
can get it exclusively at Cap7.com. Cap7, built by water polo players for water polo players. Hi, I'm Wolf Wigo. Today I'm going to talk about the Cap 7 Rebounder. If you have a backyard pool, community pool that you can use, this is a must have product. The Rebounder, um, designed by Cap 7, is really made out of rugged material. It can take a lot of abuse. It's got padding all around the sides. Okay, the net is really firm and provides a lot of bounce back. You're never going to be disappointed. You're going to get a perfect pass right back to you every single time. To get better in water polo, you've got to practice a lot, work hard, and a lot of that involves doing stuff on your own, away from your team. And this is one thing that can really improve your legs and your passing skills and make you stand out as a player. All right, let's check it out. And it's the start of the second quarter here with the Florida A team leading the UCF A team two to nothing. Turnover by Florida, UCF in possession, looking to move the ball down on the counterattack, possibly get the first goal of the game here for them. Ball gets turned over and Florida will now push on the counterattack. They feed the ball into the hole. Florida with the shot, blocked by the goalie. The ball will come down now for a corner throw for Florida. Feed it inside, looking for the backhand shot. Florida keeps possession to kick it all the way back down to the goalie. And start over on the counterattack. Shot saved by Florida or by the University of Central Florida goal, goalie. Gators, however, get off, get the ball off the turnover, and they shoot and they score on a quick counterattack. Goal by number six. Now it gives them a three to nothing advantage. UCF Knights, welcome two new coaches for the season, Coach Blair McDougal and Coach Jen. Backhand shot, powerful backhand shot by UCF, goes wide. Florida will now take over on possession with the goalie throwing the ball up for an outlet. Kicks it down into the corner for the Gators. Gators will look to start something here to build on their three, already large 3 0 lead. Shot goes wide. UCF will now take over. They will look to get on the board for the first time. Backhand shot goes off the post, and Florida. Comes away with a miraculous save there with the post being the goalie's best friend. Kick the ball out on the outlet and start the counterattack. Go, 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 
UCF with the turnover. They'll try to feed the ball inside. It'll be a free throw, and off that free throw, they take a shot. Number two with his first goal of the game for the University of Central Florida Knights. Makes it three to one. Again, you're watching the University of Central Florida A team against the Florida A team. The score is now three to one, Florida. You are watching game nine of the Florida Division Regional Tournament. We're in the second quarter. Gators wearing the white caps, the Knights wearing the black or the dark caps. Long out last pass by the Knights. Shot saved by Florida. Nice save. Goalie sends an outlet pass of his own from Florida. They kick it over to the weak side. foul on UCF. Florida takes the free shot. They kick it over to the weak side. Shot saved by UCF. Fight for possession down there in the corner. Foul on UCF, man advantage. Look to kick the ball around here on the power play. Goal by Florida. The Gators score on the power play. Goal by number six. Score is now four to one, Gators. That is his second goal here in the second quarter. Central Florida on the counterattack, looking to get their second goal of the game. Little fake shot, Pat, but the pass is intercepted by the Gator defender. And they will take over and build the counterattack. They kick it back to the goalie so we can get a nice outlet pass and start the possession up. So you look to kick it inside. That's going to be a turnover. It's going to be Knight's possession. On the outlet, a backhand chop from the Knight's player there. And Florida saves it, and they will kick it out on the long outlet. They have an ad even advantage, two on two. And the Knight defender ends up with the ball with the long pass. Shoots and scores. Nice assist there and nice pass, or nice shot there by number four. Gives the University of Central Florida their second goal of the game. And we'll cut the lead in half here and only make it a two goal advantage. Again, the Florida A team is leading the University of Central Florida A team, four to two. There's some substitutions here after the goal. Gators are wearing the white caps and the Knights are wearing the dark caps. Gator's shot is high and wide, and the Knights will take over. The long outlet pass goes right to the opposing goaltender, and the Gators will take over. Nice outlet pass there by the Gators. A skip pass, nice dry pass. They look to move it into the hole. Backhand shot or pass there. Don't know what that was, but UCF takes over. Oh, off the post. Off the outlet pass. 
Nice shot by UCF. They will keep possession until the Florida defender gets in the way, causes the turnover. Always telling him to push up the pool. It's going to be a foul on Florida. And UCF will gain possession. Score is 4 to 2 with 19 seconds left here in the second quarter. Florida A leads UCFA. Again, their B teams played before this. And now we're watching their A teams play. Save there by Florida. This goalie looks to get a long pass here to end the quarter. Maybe even a shot if they can get it off in time. Skip shot goes wide, and that's the end of the second quarter. The Florida Gators A team is leading the University of Central Florida Knights A team 4-2 to two here in Game 9 of the Florida Division Regional Tournament. Stay tuned for the third and fourth quarter. shots over the years uh, is to incorporate your legs much much more that not only gives you a lot more strength and power but height to be able to snap and even buys you a little bit more time so you can kind of read where the goalie is going whether they're kind of angling right or left so this is a trick that I use every time I shoot a penalty you saw there, about half a second of my windup was just legging up with my legs and getting high. So the two reasons I do that on my penalties are to be able to buy myself a little bit of time to see where the goalie is leaning, but secondly and most importantly, to be able to get a lot more power and height on my shot. Olympian and co-founder of Caps. Florida Gators are going to start with possession. Looks like unlike our previous two games, they're going to get some shade here. That's a goal by Florida. Lobbed it right over onto the far side of the goalie's head and that's number seven with the goal for Florida his first goal of the game makes it a 5-2 game shot goes wide by UCF and Florida will take over possession Florida in the white caps 
and the University of Central Florida Knights in the dark caps. The Gators have a 5-2 advantage over the Knights here in the third quarter of game nine of the Florida Division Regional Tournament. Backhand shot by Florida goes in the net. Nice goal by number 12. His first, his second goal of the game actually. His first goal coming in the first quarter. That now makes it four different scorers for the Gators. Gators are building a, a larger lead now. And just like that, the Knights strike right back with a goal of their own by number five. First goal of the game for him, and now the third scorer for the Knights. Some substitutions here for the Knights. Score is now six to three, Gators advantage. as the Gators look to start the counterattack. They try to feed it inside of the hole, pass back out to the outside. Oh, shot by the Gators is over top of the net. He tried to lob it over the goalie's head there. It just went a little too high. Gives UCF possession. And the Gators take it right back over. They've got a 2-1-0 breakaway here if they can take advantage of it. And they feed it inside of the hole. He shoots and he scores. Number four for the Gators. Gets his second goal of the game. His first coming in the first quarter and makes it seven to three. The Florida Gators football team is still looking at a 31 point advantage leading 31 to nothing here in the third quarter. Gators water polo team is looking at a 7-3 advantage here in the third quarter of Game 9 of the Florida Division Regional Tournament. Gators in the white caps and the Knights in the darker caps. As the players driving inside, a shot saved. UCF Knights with a long outlet pass, looking to take the ball and drive it inside and score. Backhand shot scores, goal. The Knights get on the board again. It's a goal by number two. Their fourth goal of the game keeps this only a four, a three goal now advantage for the Gators. Now it's at seven to four. Four minutes left here in the third quarter. They look to feed the ball inside, the Gators do. And it's a turnover. Knights take over possession. The Knights look defeated inside. The Gators able to come up with the turnover. And then the long outlet pass. It's a foul by the UCF defender. It's an ordinary foul. They kick it over to the weak side. He's wide open. Shot saved by UCF. UCF kicking the ball out on the long outlet pass themselves. Florida takes over. Nice turnover by the Florida defender. Try to kick it inside. That's going to be an exclusion foul there on the University of Central Florida. Man up for the Gators. Pass it around the outside, looking to find that 
spot where they can feed it into the hole or take an outside shot. They take the outside shot and they score. Number three for the Gators. Gets his first goal of the game here in the third quarter. And that's an eight four advantage for the Gators. Nice save by Florida there off the shot by UCF. The long outlet pass by Florida. It's going to be an exclusion foul there on UCF, but they're going to get the ball on the turnover. UCF with the long outlet to start the counterattack as they get their player back and their man up for the Gators is now over. Man up for the UCF Knights. Hopefully they can capitalize. They're looking to capitalize here and they do. Number five with the shot. That's the fifth goal for the Knights, ironically. And he gets his second goal of, or he gets his first goal of the game. Excuse me. That comes here in the third quarter. It's now eight to five. Gators over the Knights here in Game Nine of the Florida Division Regional Tournament. We're in the third quarter. Looks like around a minute and a half left here in the third quarter. Gators look to feed the post there, but UCF causes the turnover, and the goalie looks to outlet. They look to feed it inside, but the Florida Gator comes up big with the turnover. Oh, no. UCF will keep possession on the exclusion foul, and now they're a man up. Ordinary foul gives... UCF a free pass and they take advantage of that man up and the ordinary foul number 10 gets his first goal of the game that is now 8 to 6 UC or Florida A team over the UCF A team we got a tight one here in the third quarter A lot closer than some of the other games you might have watched today if you were tuning in. The majority of our scores coming here in the third quarter. UCF kicks it over to the, or er, Florida kicks it over to the weak side, and number 12 gets a goal. His third of the game. Makes it a 9-6 advantage for the Gators. For UCF, now makes it 10-6. Or 9-7, excuse me.
shot at the end of the quarter by the goalie, and it's saved. Like we said, it is 9-7, Florida A over UCFA. It's the end of the third quarter here in Game 9 of the Florida Division Regional Tournament. Stay tuned for the fourth quarter. Hi, I'm Wolf Lego, and I'd like to introduce the one kilogram heavy training ball. Think of this ball as a weight belt for your arms. This is really going to strengthen your wrist, okay, your forearms, your shoulder, and uh, really make you a lot stronger in your shooting. You can use this ball on dry land against a wall, or in your passing drills, or against a rebounder. Keep the ball up in front and really focus on your shoulder, your wrist, and your forearm in your passing. Maybe pass for five or ten minutes with the ball and then go back to a regular water polo ball and you real, really feel the difference in the power that you're producing out of all those muscle groups. Welcome back here to the fourth quarter of Game 9 of the Florida Division Regional Tournament between the Florida A-Team and the UCF A-Team. The Gators of Florida have a 9-7 advantage over the Knights of UCF. The Florida Gators are in the white caps and the UCF Knights are in the dark caps. Florida has the possession. They're on offense. Take a shot. Exclusion by the UCF Knights is going to give Florida the possession. Looks like it was an exclusion by their goalie as they man up the box there. They have multiple defenders guarding the goal now. Let's see if Florida can capitalize on this. As the man up is now over and they get their goaltender back. Nice save by the Knights there. Keeps us a close game at 9-7. to seven. You see if Knights on the long outlet. He's open. He shoots. He scores. 9-8 to eight now. The goal there from the Knights by number 10. That's his second goal of the game. The Knights have four scores this evening. And the Gators have six scores. Gators are on the counterattack. They look defeated inside of the hole going to be an ordinary foul. He's going to get a free throw from that. He kicks it down side. They throw it over to the weak side. They shoot and they score. Nice goal there by number three. Nice passing. Good assist. Number three gets his first goal of the game. And it makes it 10-8. to eight. Florida A-team over the UCF A-team. We got a tight one here in the fourth quarter. Looks to be five minutes and about 15 seconds left on the clock here in the fourth quarter. Hey! 
Nice save there by the Florida goaltender. Short little outlet. Looks to start the counterattack. They needed a couple passes there to get around the UCF defenders who were lurking. They look defeated inside. And that's going to be an ordinary foul. The University of Florida Gators are going to have possession. They free throw, kick it to the outside, kick it back inside. And UCF takes over. It's a nice defensive play there. Four minutes and 30 seconds left here in game nine. Florida Gators have a 10-8 advantage. That's now UCF possession. Long pass down there, a wet pass. They look to kick it inside. They have a man open. Another ordinary foul gives the UCF a free throw. Florida with a nice interception. But UCF will maintain possession. They take the shot and a save by the Florida goaltender. Nice save. It's going to cause a corner throw for UCF. Try to feed it inside. That'll be an exclusion call. Exclusion foul on UC or on the Gators. And now they are a man down. UCF maintains possession. They hold on to it. Quick shot. Oh, it goes wide. Florida keeps possession. Now they got a long outlet pass. They look to start the counterattack. And it's going to be possession UCF. UCF call, coach calls for a timeout. Here with 3.17 left and a 10-8 advantage for the Florida Gators. Coach wants this quick timeout to help get some strategy here, figure out what they're going to do here for the end of this game and maybe possibly try to take this game into overtime. We haven't seen too much of a lead for either team, bouncing back between two or three or four goal lead. No team is running away with it here like we've seen in some previous games today. Florida A team got a 13-6 victory over the Central Florida B team earlier. And the Central Florida A team got a 10-5 victory over the University of Florida B team. The University of Florida football team, the Gators, are up 38 to nothing now on Kentucky at the end of the third quarter. And like we said earlier, University of Central Florida took a tough loss today to the Michigan Wolverines. Not an easy loss for any player or teammate to take. University of Central Florida on possession. They're inside. They're going to take the free throw off the ordinary foul. University of Central Florida 18 looking to try to force this game into overtime or tie it up and win it here late in a tournament that they are hosting. Saved by Florida goaltender. But UCF will maintain possession with a corner throw off of a foul. Another ordinary foul gets the free throw to UCF defender. They try to feed it inside, which looked to be a tip shot there. But Florida will maintain the possession now, and they will take over with the outlet pass from the goalie and start the counterattack.
CF with the easy turnover. It looked to be there for them. Now they'll try to build a counterattack of their own. Little feed inside. But Florida gets the turnover. And they're saying UCF ball with a man open right there. Free shot saved by Florida. What a nice save there by the goaltender. Keep the lead at two. He's going to get another opportunity here, and he saves it again. Wow. Coming up clutch here at the end of the game is the Florida goaltender. It's been very clutch for them here late. We're saying dark possession now, the dark caps of the UCF Knights and the white caps of the Florida Gators. Shot and a goal. Nice shot there by number two. Way to capitalize on that. To cut the lead to one. It is now 10 to nine here. Late here in the fourth quarter. That is number two's first goal of the game. Florida looks defeated inside of the hole, and a backhand shot is saved by UCF. They look to build on the counterattack, maybe get a long outlet pass here and score. They look defeated inside. A tip shot. Goal! Wow. It is now a tie game at 10 to 10, late here in game nine, and late here in the fourth quarter. It's a goal by number nine as well. I apologize, it's num actually number two has three goals tonight, and that is number nine's first goal for the University of Central Florida. It is now a tie game here, 10-10. As we look to be under a minute here. Florida trying to get a goal here. Either team, one team trying to get a goal here. University of Central Florida on the late push. They're down, two on one. Shot. Goal! University of Central Florida with the late clutch goal. What a shot there. They had the two on one. He used about five, six seconds to fake the goalie out on a couple fake shots and then finish to the far side. Kind of the concept in any sport that has a goal, soccer, lacrosse, water polo, you want to finish on the far side after you fake the goalie out a couple times. It's the easiest spot for you to score. Central Florida is looking to get a timeout in here. Did they get it in? Looks like they did, yeah. 23 seconds left on the clock. It is an 11-10 advantage for the University of Central Florida A team over the Florida A team. Here in game nine of the Florida Division Regional Tournament. It's the fourth quarter. Only 23 seconds left. Let's see if Florida can come up with a goal or if UCF can hang on. to be playing keep away right now, just trying to hold on to this lead as there is no sort of penalty for not advancing the ball here. Uh, that's a ball under, so Ball goes back to Florida. Not much time left here on the clock. On, 
Looks like three seconds here left on the clock. Shot saved. Wow, what a backhand buzzer beater attempt there. But University of Central Florida A team hangs on with a tight, very close win. University of Central Florida A team over the University of Florida's A team, 11 to 10. Here at the end of the game, Game 9, Florida Division Regional Tournament. That's going to do it for us here for our Saturday games. Tomorrow, the CWPA will not be doing any remote broadcast for the games, but there is other games. There's a game at 8.30 where the University of Central Florida A-Team takes on Florida State. There's a game at 9.40 where Florida Atlantic University takes on the University of Miami. The University of Florida B team will take on Florida State at 10.50. And at noon, Florida Atlantic University will take on the University of Florida A. And at 1.10, the University of Central Florida A team will take on the University of Central Florida B team. This is all hosted by the University of Central Florida in Orlando. Again, the final score, University of Central Florida A team 11 and the University of Florida A-Team 10. Thank you for tuning in to the CWPA Network. Stay tuned and check out the collegiatewaterpolo.org for the stats and the scores for the games tomorrow that we will not be covering on our website later on this week. We also have various league news as well as the CWPA's YouTube channel.